down to Greg Hackney. Slow morning so far. Two small keepers in his oh, live well. I mean, that's a terrible example of a St. John's bass right there. <laughs> I'm like, what happened? These little boogers done run them big ones off. So I'll have a black one and a white one. One more look at this. Again, a little bit. Hackney? Yeah, go ahead, sorry. A little, little bit slower for Greg Hackney this morning, catching a lot of males, but that, again, that's exactly what happened for Greg Hackney on day three and then went back through these areas, caught bigger females. But it's almost like yesterday when he got around one, he got around a bunch of mm -hmm. Might be starting for Greg Hackney, mm. by far the biggest fish of his morning. <laughs> this is exactly how it started yesterday for Greg Hackney. Catches a couple small ones, catches a small couple small male bass, then backs it up with a solid one. Amazing to watch him pick these cypress trees apart. Maybe it won't go off now. Maybe it'll just stay on and run all day. But you're still in the tail ground. Oh my God, Lee. Wow. I pick them up, I put them down. I pick them up, I put them down. At least I'm getting to use my T and H cold buoys today. <laughs> Switch might have been turned on, Tommy Sanders. It could be. Things are starting to heat up for Greg Hackney. And just like that, after falling maybe seven pounds back of a streaking Brian New, he's now got four in the live well, and he's two pounds and nine ounces back. We haven't even got into the really volatile stuff like a giant showing up. That's coming sometime today. You can bet on it.